Hello everyone, today I'll explain the BIM modeling module. First, you need to configure the Revit plugin. Make sure your computer has Revit 2022, 2023, or 2024 installed. Click on Revit Config, select the version of Revit installed on your computer, and complete the one-click configuration. Run the Revit software and create a new project. It's best to set the view to 3D view. Click on Revit Linkage to establish communication between the two software programs. First, Create Levels. Click the Create Levels button, drag a section at a suitable position in the 3D window, and create corresponding elevations for the ground and roof in the Gaussian window, or in the section window if no Gaussian data is available. Generally, levels should be created in order from bottom to top. Next, Create Walls. Click the Create Walls button, use the horizontal slider in the 3D window to slice the point cloud to a suitable position, and start drawing the walls. Note that two points define one wall. Double-click the last point to complete the drawing. Revit will automatically create the wall model based on the drawn wall positions and elevations. The methods for drawing floors and roofs are similar to those for walls. For elements such as windows and doors on walls, drawing needs to be done in the section view. Use the Profile by Line tool, select a vector on the wall surface, and activate the window creation. In the Gaussian window, or the section window if no Gaussian data is available, draw a rectangle using two points. Revit will automatically create the window model at the corresponding position. If the windows are arranged regularly, you can use the Array tool for batch creation and fine-tune them with the Edit Feature tool. The BIM model will update synchronously after adjustments. Once all elements are created, you can configure the model style in the Revit software, such as modifying the direction of doors and windows, changing wall materials, window materials, etc. That's all for the introduction to the BIM modeling module. Thank you for watching.